Our investigator, Masa Saidi, joins us live from TPA with the latest. Masa. Hi there, Keith and Stacy. So these days, traveling is always difficult, but today you're going to need to be just a little bit more patient than usual. We are seeing a lot of delays. One in four flights here are delayed. Nearly one in five are canceled. And check it out. You can see that on this departure board. Red delays canceled. It says now at. Now at is also another way to say delayed. So warning for anyone, if you have a flight, check with your airline before you leave so you don't get stuck at the airport. As Hurricane Nicole inched closer to Florida Wednesday, airports across the state announcing closures on Twitter. Busy travel hubs like Palm Beach and Orlando International and smaller airports like Melbourne Orlando and Orlando Sanford. The main concern, powerful gusts of wind, workers tying down jet bridges and covering ticket counters. Tampa International stayed open, but that didn't mean it was smooth sailing. Now I have to ride out on this 340 flight. So, you know, you make the best of each situation. What can I say? New Yorker Sean Scott has a big smile on his face. You wouldn't know that his Delta flight from TPA to JFK was delayed nine hours. You're trying to make it back home to a wedding. Yes, I am. One of my friends is getting married, so congratulations to him. And now you'll be there, hopefully. Yes, I will be there, smiling, tux is in the bag. Other travelers are not just losing time, but also losing money. You took a cab from Orlando here. Yes. How much did that cost? $320. For the past two days, Polly Tartero and Shay Dean have been trying to get back home to Ohio. You have little ones you're trying to get home to. Yes, I have a two and a three-year-old toddlers at home. We've been here since last Sunday for the conference, and then Wednesday morning we woke up to our flights canceled. It was just really tiresome and frustrating trying to get all the changes done. And a live look at travelers that have just landed here at TPA and hopefully they didn't have to deal with too many delays. We do have a little bit of good news from Orlando International. They said at 8 o'clock they're going to start to slowly reopen the airport. About two minutes ago I got an email from them that they hope to be fully reopened tomorrow. Some of the smaller facilities that we mentioned in our report they're either going to reopen tonight or tomorrow. But again, check with your airline to get the very latest information. For now, that's the very latest at TPA. I'm investigator Masa Saidi, 8 on your side.